Hey YouTube, M Shrug here. Today we're going to be doing a Teaching Tuesday, kind of an interesting setup as you can see, so that I can show you guys some drawings and illustrate the different components in an audio system, specifically one for headphones. This is just a primer, but we are going to go over uh, all the different parts and then in the future videos I will go into detail about each part so you can segment them and share them if you need be. So the first component in an audio system is the source. So your source, let's see if I get the camera to focus on here. Uh, your source is all of your files, right? So you've got you know, maybe you have a CD. With AIFF files. That's a second F. It's kind of life, right? Uh, and then I'll do better here with everyone knows what an MP3 is these days. Or FLAC, etc, etc. Uh, but also, if you have in here, maybe you have some uh, movie files or surround files with high quality surround that is a backwards s <laughs> and uh, so that would be your source Okay, so next your data moves to the component that I would say kind of goes hand in hand, right? You've got your, um, your player, and your DSP. When you have, uh, when, when you take that data, you need to parse it into something that actually is understandable by what the next components are. So this needs to take all those files, like your uh, FLAC stuff, maybe something that's encoded uh, from, you know, Bluetooth or um, encoded with uh, surround like Dolby or DTS or something. And it needs to make all that into uh, something a little bit more simple. And this takes electricity and things. We'll go over each of these components more in the future. Uh, but basically everything turns into PCM, which is pulse code modulation. So that then is sent uh, by a variety of connections, which again, we can go over when we talk about this next component specifically, uh, but this would be the DAC. Hard to write and look at the screen at the same time, guys, but it's just kind of fun. So with the DAC, you've got all your uh, pulse width modulation, or sorry, pulse code modulation. See, I've done some computer stuff. But pulse code modulation, which describes pulses of power. You know, so this stuff directs how much, uh, how close these different uh, swoops up and down are gonna be, and also how tall, how much amplitude they're gonna have. Now, a DAC is, stands for Digital Audio Converter. So you have a digital section, which is dealing with the digital files, which it then converts and uses filters and all these things to get to the analog. So the DAC component has digital, and you need to shield that and have the timing and everything right and correct for errors and make it into a digital component, or an analog component, sorry. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna scoot you on down here. And we scooch on down, and there are a couple of different connections. We'll come back to that. 
Uh, but our next component is a little bit more familiar. This is probably the uh, third thing that people recognize the most uh, when talking about audio. And that would be our friend, the amp. Now, whether you realize it or not, every audio system has an amp in it, like every single one. Even if you skip the digital files and you go straight to a source that is like vinyl or cassette that's analog already, you start with that and then you have to amplify it because this is what's going to actually um, bring the gain and the volume up uh, from those analog uh, pulse, uh, pulse commodulation to analog sign form into something that was actually going to push the driver of a headphone. Which brings us, of course, to our next part. Uh, this is the friendly part that everybody knows, everybody likes. Who doesn't love a good headphone? Now there's some secrets of the headphone that we'll cover more. Um, such as connection cable types and whatnot, and what types of headphones there are. But essentially here, you have your entire system. You go from source to a player and DSP, and then you've got your DAC and your amplifier, and that leads into, lastly, your headphones. Oh, you know what? Let's give the headphones a good label too. Here comes bad handwriting. Alrighty, so we'll touch on each of these pieces in future videos, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this Teaching Tuesday. I'm Ev Shrug, and I'm still learning stuff every day, but if you want to come on this journey with me, subscribe and hit that notification bell.